a complete out of body experience, I must tell you. Um, but one of the best experiences of my life, just knowing that we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're hosting, we are hosting mm -hmm. the biggest reunion that everybody needs right now. <laughs> I have to just start, uh, Nzamo. As I just mentioned, I feel very underdressed right now. That's pretty fantastic. <laughs> too much shoulder? Is it too much shoulder? <laughs> oh, oh no! Trust me, it's just the right amount of everything. In fact, I, I think you all need some rose petals that they oh. sent us. I wonder why. Oh, I, I love that, that touch. I felt oh, that. I love that. <laughs> Congratulations on this. I, you know, Jermaine, let me start with you. I know in the movie, your character meets your father, Eddie Murphy, at the at Madison Square Garden. Tell me about the first time you actually met Eddie. Man, uh, all right. The first time I met Eddie was actually uh, at his house. And uh, me and his son, uh, Miles, we, we write together. So Miles invited me over. I thought it was Miles' house. Uh, I get to this estate. <laughs> that ain't Miles' house. This is definitely not Miles' house. He's about my age. And so I get there and uh, I hear someone playing piano and lovely piano playing. And I was like, that's gotta be Eddie. And I turn around and Eddie's playing piano. Wow. And uh, he was just so inviting and like chill. He was just chill as hell, man. So it was, um, they say never meet your, your heroes, but he's my hero and I'm, I'm happy I did because he lived up to all those expectations, man. He's a great guy. I got to tell you, growing up on his stuff, and I'm a little older than you, so that the 80s, that was my decade. And I <laughs> I was so excited when they heard they were doing a second. Uh, but Mazzano, were you, were you nervous at all about this? Or were you as excited as I was, just wondering how they were going to fit everything together? Definitely excited and nervous. A complete out-of-body experience, I must tell you. Um, but one of the best experiences of my life, just knowing that we're going we're gonna, to, we're hosting, we are hosting mm -hmm. the biggest reunion that everybody needs right now. But shooting the film was one of the best experiences, just looking around and seeing how everyone was just celebrating each other. Everybody wanted to tell this beautiful story. And of course, working with this fantastic human being, Jermaine, who is yeah. just so, so layered as a performer, <laughs> but also so layered as, 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 as a human being. And we get to tell the story of a young girl in Zamunda who has her own dreams of owning a business somewhere in the world. It could be in Queens, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> but I think, you know, just following the central theme as well of just female power and having that female and strong female voice was super fun and so amazing. Um, I think everyone's going to get a little bit of every single thing from this. Yeah, me too. And the cameos, I don't even want to give some of them away. Oh, I, they, they, didn't, they didn't miss a beat, honestly. Nope. I, they didn't miss anything. Um, you, you know, it is funny because uh, obviously Jermaine, your character gets to Zamunda and he's not used to any of this. So I want to hear from each of you and I'll start with you, Jermaine. What is the most baller, royal, high-end Zamundian thing you've experienced in real life where you're like, I would never get sick of this? Man, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm big on self-care, you know? I'm big <laughs> on self-care. So uh, I, I, I guess the first, like, I had like a, just a massage, like, you know, just a, a massage, something as simple as that. You know what I mean? Like a, a, right. a nice hot stone massage. That's all I, you know what I mean? I, I don't need any, I don't need jewelry. I don't need, you know, a car <laughs> or anything. I just love self-care. So I'm really into that. Uh, I, that yeah, I, I, I think every prince or princess and king and queen needs pampering, you know? So I, I, I'd say that to me is the most important thing. So, yeah. Um, but not necessarily royal bathers. We just I like to be. To say, well, judging from the smile that Mirembe <laughs> saw on his face, I would say it was the royal bathers. <laughs> I, would say, I would say so. I, you know, uh, if it, it's yes. <laughs> okay. Well, so, so Namzamo, how about you? The biggest baller? Oh, I would never get sick of this experience. Uh, the plane, the private plane, the private Zamunda plane. Any day, any time, put me on it. <laughs> I know they're about to wrap me. I have to ask you guys about the party scenes and the costumes Ooh. and the dancing and the all. I, I would have stayed there all day long whether I was in the scene or not. So did any of you um, have an opportunity to sneak people on set, be extras? What was that like? We were told to keep quiet the whole time because <sighs> instead of being in our trailers, we're watching the different surprise performances and we're like geeking out and trying not to sing along 
or moving too much, but I promised you the set was so packed of all the, the, the actors who were already wrapped for the day, but were sitting on set and were watching. Just to add on our, uh, we, you know, uh, on our set, it was probably the, the more, it was the cool set, you know what I mean? So we were, there were people filming other movies, you know, down the lots and stuff. So I guess when people heard that Coming to America is filming a sequel, Will Smith, Martin Lawrence, they came through, showed love. <laughs> It was it was that the, the movie means so much to everybody, uh, just generations of fans, entertainers alike, you know. So it was it, it was a party, man. And you can feel that in the movie. It, it felt like a huge party. Oh, you could tell. I know they wrapped me quickly. A cameo that didn't make it that you would have loved to have seen. Add one person to the mix if you could. Sam Jackson. Sam, uh -huh. Sam Jackson. Sam Jackson. <laughs> what up, Sam? Yep, he's the best. <laughs> Congratulations. I hope to meet you guys in person next time. These are, it's nice that you do this all day long, but man, I, this is one of those few junkets. I'm like, oh God, I wish this was in person. Know, right? Same here. She got dressed for it. Look at, look at them Zamo. She got dressed for you, Tara. Come on. I'm going to the gym. I'll be back. I'm going to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing I love her. I love her. <laughs>